My name's uh, Clay Davis. I'm from Alapal, Georgia. I'm the Rooker Up Farmer here in uh, Berrien County. Um, and also, I'm the Fire Chief for the City of Nashville. We started out uh, kind of, you know, when you start out planting your crop in the spring, you kind of optimize it, even though the market was um, hitting that so hot with the cotton, the cotton prices. And um, anyway, we still were optimistic. And we got planted at the beginning of May. And um, as soon as we got through getting our crop planted, we seen unprecedented rain like we had never seen before. We got we had fields wash in places we've never seen them wash before. So we had to go back in and ended up rebedding some of the land like three times, three different times before we got it planted and got it stand established. Um, I replanted about 30% of my crop. Um, so that 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 created challenges on into the growing season. Um, <laughs> it dried off in June. It kind of started, the crop started looking a little better. Um, and then towards the end of June, we kind of started to need a little rain. Um, so we, we got some rain beginning in July. July was kind of um, a normal month for us. We seen rains like we needed. Um, but going back to us having to replant a bunch of cotton there in May, um, it, it gave us challenges with um, peaks and plant growth regulators. We had spots and fields. It was, it was planted almost a month later. So um, that was just a battle throughout the year shutting your sprayer on and off i'm um, trying to get the pigs where you needed to get it at <clears throat> so by the, by the end of july we had a we had a pretty decent looking crop um, i feel like um a cotton crop's pretty forgiving um i've always looked at it as a forgiving crop so um like i say by the end of july we were kind of happy with it um but then we got her, um, hurricane debbie i um, mean passed to the southeast of us and and, and, and really gave us some needed rain. We kind of dried off there at the end of July. We had a little rain that gave us some. And we had a little bit of wind damage. It had some of it tangled up, but, but not a lot of damage to it. So um, we got on into the um, end, the middle of September and the crop looked really good. Um, uh, you know, I felt good about it. Um, so we were kind of still, we're still holding on to the optimism from the beginning of the season that everything was looking better. Um, and then, uh, Hurricane Helene come and um, and it uh it's, I got some bowls here in my hands with small some naughtier cotton in it, in it but anyway here where we're standing at I, I think there's probably three or four hundred pounds on the dirt there's a lot of the smaller smaller bowls that aren't on the dirt but we're scared when the picker hits that they're probably gonna fall out and not get in the head of the picker and the picker's just not gonna pick them like it needs to every resident in Nashville and I believe every resident in Berrien County was without power um, some of them went 16 days without it. They just got their store here in the last day or two. So some of the um, residents, um, the local businesses in town, they were out four and five and six days. So that um, that presented a bunch of challenges for them guys. Well, this huge. This has been. This has had a devastating impact on the agriculture community. And when we say the agriculture community, that's our community. That's, that's what we are. Um, this has had a huge impact on the um, cotton crop. Huge impact on the peanut crop. There's not fields of cotton and peanuts around here. There's timber, and um, these timber stands—they look like they've been thinned. Some of them look like they've been clear cut. So this has had a huge impact on our community for, for years and years and years to come. For the crop insurance, um, what, what you want to say it's a safety net, but it don't quite get. When you get to the point in the crop where we are, we've invested everything in it at this point. There, you know, we've. You know, if we'd have seen the damage back in June, like this is devastating damage, and we could have quit with it and not put no more input costs on us, and that would have got our money back. But when you get to this point, the the crop insurance it does help you some, but it don't get you, it don't get all your money back, and it don't get you to the break-even point. 